Well, I got something big on again. Oh, what is this? morning it is 35 degrees this morning and y'all might think I'm crazy but we are actually gonna go kayak fishing in 35 degree weather in the St. Croix River hopefully we catch something today follow along on this uh, adventure and let's see what we can do today let's go fishing guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and let's go fishing Alright guys, we are to a spot. You know, I'm doing something totally, totally different off a kayak. Go Tour sent me this rod to review for them. It's a Go Tour 28 inch power, medium light to medium. This is actually a two piece ice fishing rod, which is pretty cool. It comes with a carbon tip and also a fiberglass tip. And I thought that was a kind of a cool design that they're, that they're doing. Since you guys see, there's actually no ice out here yet, but I do have a kayak and there are hungry fish. So I'm gonna be out here fishing out of my kayak with an ice fishing rod. And I pair this rod up with a PC Fun Carbon 500. And as you see, it is such a beautiful combination right here. And I got three pound ice line on. So I'm gonna do everything as if, I, as if I'm ice fishing right now. And I do have a Snyder Lure 360 Defro on as well. Tipped with a minnow. And I'm gonna be fishing all these pilings. It's gonna be a lot of fun today. So thanks to uh, GoTort for sending me out this rod to test out for them. And I'm gonna be uh, giving you a very honest review of what I think about this rod. Right now I got the carbon tip on. And we'll see how that handles. And later on I'll switch into the fiberglass tip on here. We are marking some fish underneath us and we're gonna see what we could do so I'm gonna be jigging this up and down just like just as if I'm ice fishing so it should be pretty fun I thought about fishing right through the Mirage Drive right there but then I kind of needed to steer this is 15 feet of water I do not have uh, a long enough uh, power pole and I do not have an anchor system so this is how I'm going to be fishing just like this just off to the side my kayak right here just underneath this piling I'm just vertical jigging I'm touching the bottom. So 
so we're just testing this rod it's got a lot of good backbone which i like oh i got it got a fish on I got a fish on guys got a fish on <laughs> oh nice crappie too look at this guys oh nice crappie right off the ice fishing rod look at this wow that is awesome guys that is a nice crappie wow that is awesome guys wow look at this crappie man right off the snyder lures wow this is actually going on the stringer wow that's so cool got my first fish on the ice for ice rod <laughs> Ice fishing in October, guys. Ice fishing in October. Got a nice size crappie. All right. Let's go catch some more fish, guys. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It'd be good to get a big fish on this rod just to see how... How well the, the backbone of this rod is... There is walleyes and there is a uh, smallmouth bass in this uh, river so hopefully we tangle into one of them and i again i'm only using three pound test so it's gonna be quite interesting if i do get a big fish on it's gonna really test out this rod and my abilities to tackle some big fish on three pound line it's just like ice fishing when you're ice fishing i'm only using two to three pound line too so this is this is a perfect representation of what I'll be doing in a few months, hopefully. Oh, got another one on. Got another fish on. Oh, this one's a fighter. Oh, this one's a fighter, guys. Oh, not sure what this is. Oh, not sure who this is, guys. But this one's fighting good on the ice rod on the Goto rod 28 inch medium heavy oh i got a sheep's head <laughs> unfortunately i can't just bring this one up i have to use the net so wow <laughs> this rod i'm very impressed it's got real good backbone guys Look at that. Hungry little fella. Right on the Snyder lures. Excellent, excellent. Nice sheep said. Probably probably a 13, 13, 14 inch sheep said. Let's let it go. Wow, guys, this is so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm marking some fish underneath me right now. That was a big mark. Hope you guys can see it, but there's these marks. These are probably walleyes. Either walleyes or maybe even small mouse. It uh, should be right underneath us. There we go. So we got another one on, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's this? We got something on, guys. Let's tighten the drag a little bit. Oh yeah. What is this? <laughs> oh, oh, what is this? Oh, it looks like another sheep's head. Maybe that's what's marking down there. Yep, got another sheep's head. <laughs> Slightly bigger guy. Look at that. Oh, about the same size. <laughs> We're here, guys. Right off the Snyder lures. Awesome fish, awesome fish. Beautiful. 
but I'm hoping that we get some other fish besides just sheep's head so but we're gonna let this one go let's go catch another one <laughs> This keeps up. I don't think I even have to use my regular rod. I'll just continue using my ice rod. This is actually quite fun. <laughs> yeah, the sensitivity of this rod is actually not too bad. It's not as uh, sensitive as a noodle rod, but for being a medium, medium light rod, I can actually feel the fish bite too. Oh, just missed one. A bit on the way up as I was uh, jigging up. Yep, took my minnow. beautiful cold day though I think right now the air temperature especially under this bridge is, is probably maybe 42 degrees right now somewhere around there out in the sun it actually feels a little better Oh, just had a, just had a bite. Let's see if I still got my minnow head on. Yeah, still got it on. Oh, something big broke me off. Oh man. <laughs> That's a bad thing about using a. Uh, three pound line <laughs> but now I'm gonna switch into the fiberglass this is how you can tell the fiberglass has you can see the fiberglass piece and the carbon is just black so but yeah let's get this hooked up and see if we can catch some more fish This is my ice jig box. No, let's go with... Let's go with one of these clowns right here. Let's get this one tied on so we can catch more fish, guys. There he goes, got him. Got a perch. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look what I caught, guys. Is that thing ugly? Oh my god! Wow! Look at this thing! I think it's called a mud puppy or something like that. Holy cow, is that thing funky looking! <laughs> wow! Man, guys, it is so cold out here. It's yeah, it's cold, but I'm uh, doing a review on this uh, GoTor ice fishing rod. And look what it caught, guys. Is that thing the ugly thing? Holy cow, look at that. Man, is that thing ugly? Using the Snyder Lures uh, jigging spoon and the ice fishing rod right off my kayak. That thing is so ugly. Let's release it. Let's go 
catch something else. Not this again. This is my first time catching one of these. Wow, it's so funky. I think this is a, a mud puppy. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, let's let it go. Wow, it is so strong. Hopefully they don't sting or anything. Make sure you know what. It's so slippery. I can't even get it off, so I'm just gonna... Get my pliers on the hook. Somehow. And then shake it off. There it goes. It is... It is back home. <laughs> Let's go catch another one, guys. Wow. Oh, it's so funky. My first time catching something like that. I first pulled it out, I, I kind of got scared. I was like, what the heck is this thing? Wow, that is so cool. Let's go fishing, guys. Finally got something big on again. Oh, what is this? Oh, a smallmouth, yeah. We made a good fight. Wow, heck yeah. There he goes. Got him in on the ice rod. Heck yeah. Look at this, guys. Right here. Bam! Oh, broke off too. Ooh. Nice fish on the ice rod. Man, that's a nice ice rod. No kidding. Wow. Let's uh, get a measurement on this guy real quick. Okay, let's get a weight. Okay, it's a zero. Let's weigh this real quick. 1.5, one and a half pounder. Just to give you an idea on the on the rod. Wow, one and a half pounder, not bad. Let's let it go. Let's go catch another one. Hey guys, hope that you guys like that fishing portion. I was having so much fun yesterday that I did not get a chance to do a full detail review on this uh, on this rod. So yeah, this is the Gold Tour 28 inch. This is the medium light and the medium and they also have a 32 inch too which is a little heavier rod which uh, i might do a review on that later on too it depends but yeah this one is real nice it comes it comes in a in a little bag it's got three different slots in it and each slot holds a piece of the rod this is the carbon piece this is the fiberglass piece right here as you can see and it goes in it's got different uh sens sensitivity to it i think the fiberglass piece it's a uh, it's got a little bit more backbone as you can see but well, they both got good backbone but you know i think that this can tackle some big fish i don't know about big norlands but i think that these should do for for big walleyes and smallmouth bass but yeah it's got the really nice ceramic guides on here you know the these eyelets are epoxied on them really nice real nice carbon bottom piece with a nice cork design on it and it's got the real nice real seat on it as well i know some people the ice fish they don't like this because they can move it uh, back and forth to their liking but the, these rods uh actually fits my hand perfectly and it's real good for jigging so and I decided to, t to pair it up with a PC Fun 500 Carbon X, uh, as they are one of my supporters. They're not my sponsors, but they are a big supporter of my YouTube channel. Yeah, go check out GoTour.com. Go check out the rods. They have a lot of nice rods out there, so hey, go check them out. This is again, this is the GoTour 28 inch, medium light to medium. So, anyways, yeah, I'll let you guys get back to the video.
I saw this at that gas station right here. Doritos Ultimate Cheddar Flavor. Holy cow. Is it good? Wow. Mm. Black cheddar, I think you guys will like this. Hmm.